Hold on, wait a minute. I know she not walking her dog in the street. It's my turn now. My turn, though. Oh, her. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, Mr. Smith, what's up? Hey, uh, what you think you're doing? Walking my dog? What you mean? Walking her where? Outside. This ain't no sidewalk, though. You get on me for being on my porch, how you gonna walk your dog in the street? Where's the sidewalk to walk her on? Well, you gotta find one or you gotta take her to the park. Okay, well, you tell me where the sidewalks are then. Then I'll take her. Really, woman? Don't be trying to act like you don't know where they at. Because you Mr. Know-it-all. Uh, like I said, you're gonna have to take her to the park. It's a park around the corner. You can't be walking her down this street. She probably peeing um, and doing everything. Who made everything up this else. rule? I did. Oh, you did. That's and, my made up rule and, since you want to bother me. And who are you to make up rules? I just told you who I am. I'm Mr. Smith. The one that you <laughs> bug all day. Oh, oh now you're laughing. Now it's Because my rules aren't made up. It's a rule that's made for an entire community, the neighborhood that everybody agrees on, not just one person. Mm -hmm. And I was the chosen person to make sure those rules are enforced and followed. So all of these people around here listen to you, I see, because I see some people in their backyards instead of on their porch. You know, Correct. scared all the people around here. It ain't about here. being scared. It's everybody coming upon a neutral agreement on how they want this neighborhood to look and how they want it to feel and for what perception they're perceiving. Well, guess who's still about to break all of the rules? Oh, so now you want to use big words. What, you think you're educated <laughs> or something? Because you're not. I'm just not, you know, where you come from. That's all. I am educated. No. Oh, what you mean where I come from? What that's supposed to mean? You're trying to bring where you came from to this neighborhood. Yeah, that's, that's what you always do. You keep the hood with you. See, you said it, not me. So you you really just gonna Okay, walk. if you think that me walking her in the street is an issue, you're more than welcome to come to our monthly meeting that everybody no has nope. and you can nope. tell this nope. bring up no this conversation we done had, how you feel about people walking their dogs in the street, because I'm not the only one in this neighborhood that does that. So if it's a problem for you, come to the monthly meeting and bring this as an awareness and then we'll see how everyone feels in the neighborhood and everyone feels the same way as you, then we can make it a rule. But until then, I will continue to walk my dog in the street along as the other people in this neighborhood they does don't, as though. well. The other people, they walk the theirs in the grass, I've seen them. In the grass? Yep, in the grass. That way if they use the bathroom, they'll be in the grass. Okay, but that's in everyone's grass. Grass has fleas and ticks in it. I don't want <sighs> fleas and ticks on my dog. Excuses, excuses. Well, guess where I'm going? To sit on my porch. That's on you. Yep. You know what's gonna happen. You oh boy. Excuse me. <sighs> what is it? What is it? Is your yeah, name Ben Smith? You? Ben Smith. Ben Smith? Are you Ben Smith? Why? Who's worried about it? Um, I'm from the homeowners association and your grass hasn't been cut in like three weeks. Uh, I just cut it's my grass way, a few it's days no, ago. It's way... So let me get this straight. You just going to walk up in my yard like this? That's the height it's supposed to be. We have regulations in this neighborhood that you have to follow. Huh? What do you mean regulations? Uh, it means your grass has to be a certain height. And your grass is way past the height that it's supposed to be. This ain't even that high. I don't know. The funny thing is, it's really neighbors like this. Just crazy. And you got weeds all in your yard. You can't have weeds in your yard. You won't take care of them for me? You could pay for it. No, you're going to have to pay because I'm going to fine you. There's a fine involved in this. If you don't take care of this in a couple of days, I will be back with your fine that you have to pay. Fine. From and what you? kind of what kind of grown man is in the backyard swinging? You need to be cutting your grass and tending to these. Hey, weeds. I'm I'm finding my peace right here. Why you all worried? Why you so worried about me? Because your house is bothering all everybody in the neighborhood. It's making the neighborhood yes, look bad. But look at it's making the neighborhood look bad. Your house wow. is the only one that looked like this. You new to the mm. neighborhood, so I need to let you know how it's supposed to be taken care of. Seriously. So this is your notice. 
Get out of here and let me swing in peace, woman. Bye bye. Well, I want to give you a notice for that. You know what? Ooh, I ain't even gonna say nothing. Um, are you Mr. Mavens? Yes. Uh, yes, I'm Ashley from the Homeowners Association, and I'm getting phone calls from a lot of the neighbors saying that you just be hanging out in your front yard, just. Here she go again. Get out of my face, woman. Doing nothing, just be standing outside, and then you're always dressed like this. Like, we don't do that in this type of neighborhood. That's why I've been getting a lot of phone calls, because we don't do that around here. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Like, if you're going to be outside, you need to actually be doing something. Cutting your grass, watering your lawn, washing your car. You can't just be hanging outside. And then you dress like this. Like, you dress like... You What's know, wrong with um, dress? We don't... So she really trying to tell me I can't be outside unless I'm doing something else. I'm trying to say that I'm dressed like a thug or something. Well, if that's that's what you said. But you already know where I'm going. We don't we don't do that around the neighborhood. So if you want to be outside, you need to be barbecuing, washing your car, cutting the grass, watering line. I'm gonna chill right here, and my friends about to pull up. We are gonna have us a block party right here. That's my mama house. Oh, uh, that's definitely that definitely can't happen. Well, call the police then. Well, I don't have to call the police. I'm part of the neighborhood. I speak for everyone's behalf. So, okay, I mean, whatever. all I can your do dog, is you better protect I, can, your I dog. can give you a fine. That's what I can do. And then the next result will is why well, I will call the police and still and start. Well, here comes the block party. It's on now for show. Sure. Are making complaints. We will, and I will come up with a tally of neighbors in the neighborhood that feel the same way that are against you. We will have you removed from this area. <laughs> Well, all my guys are about to pull up in their old schools. We're about to shut the block down now. Okay, that's fine. So just be looking forward to your notice and possibly the police. You look forward to this block party. Oh, she thinks she is. <laughs> yeah, bro. Block party was so lit last night, man. Yep. Yeah, we had a little girl them doing the Meg and Gorilla Challenge and everything. Bro pulled up in the old school in the SS. He was smoking the block out. Man, we weren't Excuse playing. Me. Oh boy, here we go. There's homeowners. Excuse Let's me. Uh, could you get off the phone? Could you get off the phone? Yes. I no, I'm not getting off the phone. Go back to where you came from, could woman. Could you get off the phone? I have something very important to speak to you about. Either I speak with you or I speak to the person that resides at this residence, but it it's involves you. Are you serious? Yes. Could you get off the phone? I'm all right. I'm. I could. He could stay on the phone. It's okay. Just well, working. anyways. Um, so I got multiple phone calls last night about a block party going on in this area. Did you have a block party last night? No. Man, is she the feds or what's going on? It's crazy. What? No, I ain't had no. Problem. Okay, because in the contract it already states there's absolutely no parties or anything past ten o'clock. Ten o'clock is the cutoff time for parties. Hmm. And people were calling me at one. What? They was yeah, I got woke up out of my sleep because I got phone calls at one, two o'clock in the morning about people out here being belligerous, arguing, fighting, people no, out no. here dancing. Hey, what no fights? Music, what you talking about? Very extremely loud. Okay, it's time to play dumb. Play dumb, bro. They said, yes, people was out here fighting and arguing. They said, no. People no, smoking no. weed, beer cans. You can still beer cans all over the yard. Oh, man, I don't know who reported that to you. It didn't happen here, though. It didn't happen here? No. Okay, okay well, whoever signed the lease at this home will be receiving a $500 fine because it states in the lease, if you have parties after 10 p.m., it's a $500 fine. And there will be additional fine for all the beer cans and all the bottles in the yard. That's an additional $100 you know fine. The, the and that was... clearly states in the lease. That you cannot do that or you will be fine. You're hearing so, this, bro. So whoever reside, whoever signed the lease will be uh receiving that fine. So I don't know if you're gonna pay it or whoever signed it, but it needs to be paid. This is my mama's house. Okay, you well, try she to has, find my mom. It doesn't matter. She she knows the rules. She knows the rules. I don't care if you're a guest or whatnot, she should have told you what can and cannot happen at certain times of the day. So she will be fined and you can pay the fine or she will be fined. Whoever wants to pay the fine, there will be a fine. And you're lucky that nobody called the police.
Wow. That's why I'm here in wow. place of the police being called. Go. Go so so you... she will have 30 days to pay the fine. And if not paid within 30 days, there will be additional fee for each day, a late fee for not paid. Yep, at this moment, I knew I had messed up. She has 30 days. So I gotta go talk to my mama. <laughs>